Hello YouTube and welcome to my tutorial on tracking particles in um, Trapcode's particular plugin for After Effects to a path or to a shape. Before we start, I'd like you to go up to the workspace here and click all panels. That's just so that we're on the same page and all our bars down the right here, um, or our tabs I should say, are the same, just to avoid confusion. Um, than anyone may have, say, if you're a beginner to After Effects. So I'm going to go create a new composition in 720p um, dimensions. I'm just going to name it, if I can spell it right, Particle Path. It's just anything. You can name it whatever you like. Um, so I'm going to now go and... Um, Oh, I just thought, uh, as a side note, you are going to need um, Particular for After Effects, and I'm using After Effects CS5. So I'm going here, right-click, Create New Solid, and make sure it's the same dimensions, and if you're not sure, click Make Comp Size there. I'm also going to make a new Null Object. Um, this is in the Null Object. That's what we'll store the path data in. So that's... Um, yeah, that's where your path will go. So you can either create your path using the pen tool and sort of like crafting a curve or, you know, making any shape that you want with the um, with the pen tool. Um, and that, you know, that gives you more freedom, I guess. How... Oops. I'm just trying to, try to continue it here. It's not really turning out well, so I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay, so... Um, now I said also, if you want something more uniform, like a more uniform shape, you can use one of the shape paths, so an ellipse tool, or say the rectangular tool, and you can, then you can get your, um, your path working through the, um, you can get your particles tracking to that path, so really any path that you create, you just have to make sure that it's like a mask path, not a, um, not a shape layer as such. Now, um, for the tutorial, I'll only be doing one of these. I'll just go with the, um, the curly line. However, keep in mind that this works for anything. So I'm going to go on the first mask, click on the mask path, where it's got shape next to it, and I'm going to edit, copy that, or control C on Windows. And then going down to the transform tab, clicking on position, and then I'm going to hit control V, however you also go edit, paste. And then you'll see that that copies the um, copies the data from the path to the position of the null object. And then it's a simple matter of going and copying the position, changing, um, masking, sorry, linking the position of the particle emitter to the position of the null object. So we'll go down and bring particular here by going to the effects and presets tab and bringing particular onto our solid layer. We just drag that up and drag that in to our solid. And if we just go here and skip forward a bit in the timeline, we can see that some particles are met. I'll just bump up my quality there just so you can see nice looking particles. Um, and now I'm going to alt and click on the stopwatch of position x, y. So you can see here it brings up expressions and the pick whip and the expression tools there. So we're going to go and take the pick whip of the, um, of the black solid, its position x, y, and drag that up to the position um, sort of X and Y of the null object. So if we do that now, we just drag that up and hit it on the position. So we see now, if I give that a quick render out, so just bump down the quality for fastness, you can see that our particles follow the path. It gives a nice effect. And you see just through the physics it sort of automatically goes, um, and has a trail. Now if you want to get sort of a nicer effect and not so big, you can bump down the velocity between sort of 20 and 40 and crank down the velocity from motion. 
also then you can just play with the particles so make it a streaklet um, bump down the size, the size over life um, give it some color and I like to with most of my particles give it the add transfer mode so it gives them a bit of extra depth so now if I just give that a quick render out you can see there the particles are a lot smaller um, and it's sort of a nicer sort of just whoosh effect and you can get that doing anything like I think on the intro at the start of this video I actually showed that thanks for listening um, this is TG Mars. don't forget to like, comment and rate the video and if you like the videos that I post don't forget to subscribe thanks